episode, Gimmick Grubby and I crash landed in the Great Desert, where we were caught in a huge earthquake, nearly losing Grubby. Then we really did lose Grubby when we were captured and imprisoned by strange creatures called mudblocks. We escaped with Prince Aaron, but we still had to get Grubby out. We scared the mudblocks with bright light and flew away, still followed by Tweak. Find out what happens in the next episode of The Adventures of Teddy Ruxpin. Keep it up, lads. We're almost there. Almost where, Gimmick? Almost, uh, w uh, well, that is to say, we're right next to uh, the... You uh, mean you don't know? Yeah, precisely. But we are making very good time. Boy, that phony map of Tweed sure has thrown us off course. This chap Tweed sounds like quite a wicked fellow. Oh! That he is, Prince Aaron, most decidedly. Making this airship go sure is hard work. I need a drink of water. I'm sorry, Grubby. It appears we're down to our very last uh, uh, drop. This could be serious. None of us can go very long without water. Yeah, I hate to admit it, but it's even more important than food. Here, Grubby, let me take over for a while. Hey, looky down there. I see a waterfall. Hey, what's that thing? Hmm, I don't know, but it looks dangerous. Well, we gotta get it out of there. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, excuse me. Bum, bum. Huh? What do you want? D do you think we could get some water, please? No! Go away! Hey, you, get out of there. What did you say? Oh, uh, well, um, uh, we've got to be off on our mission to find Princess Arusia, and, um, uh, well, you're holding us up. Go on! Scram! Oh, did you say Princess? Yeah, Princess Arusia, the sister of Prince Aaron here. How come she's lost? Well, actually, she's been kidnapped. Kidnapped? Why would anybody kidnap a princess? That's bad! Well, we don't know who took her or why. All I know is I've got to get her back. Well, then, what you ought to do is talk to the wizard. Uh, the, the, the wizard? Yeah, the wizard. He knows everything. He can tell you where the princess is. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's get going. Add more fuel, Grubby. We don't seem to be getting enough lift. I can't get any more fuel in this thing. It's no use. We're carrying too much uh, weight. Okay, 
I can take a hint! But how will we find my sister without you showing us the way to this wizard chap? Well, we'll just have to walk! Come on! Why don't we just fly there and meet you? Come on! It's just through the jungle over there! What jungle is that? The jungle with no name! Are we there yet, Twas? Will you stop asking me that? And the name is Tweeg! T-W-E-E-G! Big deal. D-E-E-L. We'd probably be at the treacherous mountains now if you wouldn't keep getting us lost. I don't get us lost, Tweeg. You're driving. Well, I've got my hands full reading this map and thinking about running barefoot through all that treasure. Barefoot? Yeah, forget it. You can keep my share of the treasure. <laughs> it works every time. Now hurry up, LB. Hurry up, LB. Hurry up, LB. Ow, oh, ouch. Oh, good help is so hard to find these days. It's enough to make me want to get up there and pull this thing myself. Uh, almost. Well, if I'd known we were going swimming, I would have brought my bathing suit, Tweeg. Teddy, I get the weirdest feeling that we're being watched. Watched? By whom? I don't know. It's just a feeling. Well, I don't see a thing. And nor do I, Grubby. It's probably just a figment of your, uh, uh, imagination. They're not figments. They're fobs. That's right, they're fobs. <laughs> and where are you going? To find the wizard. Is this the only way you can get there? Through the jungle? Well, it's the only way I know of. You're really going through the jungle? You're brave. Aren't they brave, Fred? Yeah, they're brave, all right. Or strong. Or maybe they're brave and strong. Uh-oh. What do you mean, brave and strong? What do we have to be brave and strong about? Hey, everyone, look at these brave guys. I don't think they're brave. I think they're foolish. I think they're dumb. Look at these brave guys. Look at these brave, dumb guys. Are, uh, are you heroes? Well, no, we're not. We're just... Wonderful! They're so brave! The big fuzzy guy is strong and dumb. The rest must be brave! Brave heroes! Real brave heroes! And foolish! What do you suppose that was all about? I don't know! Isn't that a strange thing to call this place? The jungle with no name. It appears those fobs were exaggerating enormously with all their warnings. That's right, Gimmick. So far, I haven't seen anything to be afraid of. Except for those guys. Hey! You're trampling on our food supply. Your, uh, food supply? Yeah! Can't you see that you're squashing our vegetables? Oh, my! I thought they were, uh, weeds. Now, eating roots, I can understand. But weeds? Bleh. Weeds? Are you crazy? This is the biggest crop of veggies we've grown in years. At least it was until you guys trampled all over it. Well, really, we didn't mean Especially to do... Especially that overgrown piece of lint. Those feet of his must have wrecked two acres of veggies. Sorry. Yes, we're all very sorry for any damage we might have done. Oh, yeah? And who exactly are you, Fuzzface? My name is Teddy Ruxpin. I'm an Iliad. Hey, this guy's Teddy Dustpan. He's a lollipop. And <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here in Grunge territory? We're on a mission. We're going to see the Wizard of Grundo. Then we're going to rescue a kidnapped princess. And who is this potato bug here? Hey. I assure you, Grubby's no potato bug. Oh, no? <laughs> then what kind of bug is he? He's an octopede, a fact that can be ascertained by simply counting his er, uh, uh, feet. I've got eight of them. Which means he did four times more damage than the rest of you. We'll be happy to pay for any vegetables we've ruined. Oh, yeah? With what? Gee, I don't know. 
with the reward King Nogbert will pay them for having rescued his daughter, Princess Arusia. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. And I suppose you know King Nogbert personally, huh? Yes, I do. He's my father. Your father? Then you must be... Prince Aaron. Not the Prince Aaron? None other. Who's Prince Aaron? I don't know. So you're Prince Aaron. Hmm. Well, you must come back to the village with us for lunch. Thank you, but... I won't take no for an answer. It's not every day that Prince Aaron comes to the jungle. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Hey, who's Prince Aaron? Beats me. I never heard of him. Prince Aaron! Prince Aaron! Prince Aaron! Prince Aaron! Prince Aaron! Prince Aaron! Wow, Teddy, what strange-looking buildings. I kind of like them. How extremely interesting. So, this is where you grunges uh, reside. Reside? You have your uh, habitations. Habitations? Oh, your lodgings, your dwellings, your... Uh... He means, is this where you live? All of them fancy words just to say that. Why not stay for our party? It's to celebrate the harvesting of our vegetable crop. Yeah, and to honor Prince Aaron. Prince Aaron, Prince Aaron, Prince We're most Aaron. hospitable, but we've no time for celebrations. Nothing must keep us from our mission. You now, Prince Aaron, we have to stop and rest sometime. Why not here with these here uh, charming grunges? Good idea. And maybe they'll have some food. Besides, it's only polite to accept a friendly invitation. So be it. We'll stay. Chef! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're having five more guests. Make sure to prepare some extra veggies for the feast. Oh, you could have at least given me some warning. Uh, but what does it matter if I've got to go through a whole lot of trouble? After all, I'm just a lowly village chef. Yeah, don't mind him. All the steam from the grunge gumbo soup makes him really cranky. Excuse me, chef, but what's that you're putting in the grunge gumbo? Ah, my secret recipe. A pinch of vitamin X, a touch of vitamin Y, and a smidgen of this special ingredient, vitamin Z. Just a pinch of vitamin Z now. It's very powerful. Say, do you think you could get him to throw in a couple of roots? Roots? <laughs> I don't use roots in my cuisine. I am an artist. Hmm. Snob. You see, this is no ordinary soup. Eating it is what makes us grunges big and strong. Want to try some? Well, just to be polite. Hey, I do feel a lot stronger. Huh? Oh. Ah, what did I tell you? Can I have some more? Uh, better not, pal. Too much of it could be downright dangerous. When is this celebration of yours going to start? Well, it better be soon. The soup is getting cold. Okay, let the music begin. Do it. 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 Do the grunge, do it! Yeah! Do the grunge, do it! All right! Now, if you're already cool, you probably know. It's easy to do, you just get up and go. And do every move that you ever, ever have done. done. Eliminate the dust! It's the groovy one! Do the grunge, do stroll when you're on foot. Do it, 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 Do it. Like a sponge. Now get your body acting till you feel the neck, and, and then, then eventually you're gonna find you've done the grunge. Gosh, Grubby, I never knew you could dance like that. Me neither, Teddy. Usually I've got eight left feet. <laughs> do the grunge. Do it. Go, Grubby. Do the grunge. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do the grunge. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do the grunge. Do it. Do it. Do the grunge. Do it. My masterpiece! Prince Aaron, are you all right? <laughs> Strangely enough, I feel wonderful. 
Look at that. He's growing. And still growing. We must have put too much vitamin C in the gumbo. Hey! You're as big as I am! It also makes you a lot meaner. Uh, yes. It... Hey, Prince Aaron, it's me, the Wooly Watson. Whoa! <laughs> First they take a bath in my soup, and now they make a mess. Who's going to clean this up? Prince Aaron, Prince Aaron, what's wrong with you? Hey, cut it out. Take it easy, Prince. You might hurt somebody. I can stop him, Teddy! There must be some scientific explanation for this. Yeah. But I could be wrong. Whoa! whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, uh, uh, thank you. That's the last time I invite those guys to a party. They're wrecking our entire village. This is awful. Isn't there some way to stop them? Nope. We just gotta wait till that vitamin soup wears off. No, oh, dear, that could take an extremely uh, uh, long time. It sure could. Prince Aaron. Wooly. Yeah, are you all right? Uh, I think so. Uh. What happened? It all started with some soup. And it seems to have worn off. I, I feel so strange. As though I've been off on some big adventure. Big? Well, I, I'd say it was a... A giant adventure! <laughs> then you turn left at the big boulder and keep going until you see the wizard's fortress. Thank you. I sure am tired! Sorry about that misunderstanding, Wooly old boy. I still can't believe you and I engaged in combat. And I can't believe that you nearly beat me! As for you, kind sir, my father, King Nogbert, will gladly repay you for whatever damages I've caused to your, uh, charming village. Good! I'll send him a bill. But what am I gonna do about my chef? He's still plenty mad about you messing up his soup. Did somebody mention soup? Hoo-hoo! <laughs> Coming right up. Oh, yes! A uh, grubby? Did you help the chef with his soup? Yep. Uh-oh. I call it Grubby's Roasted Root Gumbo. 
Mmm, sounds pretty good. But will it make you big and strong? I hope not. <laughs> Join us for our next episode when we journey to the house of the Wizard of Grundo. A very powerful and mysterious individual, the wizard tells Prince Aaron that his sister is being held captive by fierce Gatang warriors in the heart to find city. We make our way to the city and sneak in without being seen. But the Gatangs have the princess locked up in a dungeon, and we need a plan to get her out. That's all in the next episode of The Adventures of Teddy Ruxpin. I hope you'll be there. This is Teddy Ruxpin. I'm going to have my own series next year. Come join me and my friends for more exciting adventures very soon. <laughs>